Today, I'm presenting you some of the best hacks that will help you massively improve your English fluency and get closer to reaching your goals. So if you're struggling with your spoken English, make sure you stay until the very end of this video. Welcome to Zenfluent Maria. I'm Maria and I know how hard it can be to learn a new language. That's why I'm excited to share these nine hacks with you that will help you achieve fluency in English in no time at all. So grab a pen and paper and get ready to take some notes. When it comes to learning a new language, there is no one-size-fits-all solution. However, there are certain techniques that can help you become more fluent in English, regardless of your current level of fluency. The first thing you should do is set a specific goal. I speak about goal setting and how to stay consistent when you set goals in another video, so if you haven't watched that, go ahead and watch it first. I'll leave the link in the description box below. So why the heck is setting specific goals so important? Because we want to avoid getting stuck in the process of practice or getting discouraged or blaming ourselves for not getting there faster and so on and so on. Language learning is not a linear process. It is most definitely not going to be joyful and lovely all the time. And that's why when you set a goal, it's important to be specific. That way you know exactly what you're working towards and you can measure your progress. Tell me your goal for English in the comments below and I'll let you know if your goals are good or if you need improvements. The second hack for today is embrace the mistakes. I think it's time we talked about this whole guilt trip of a language learning experience. Let me clarify that with some examples. You must learn 10 new phrases every day. You need to forget about grammar and focus on speaking only. You should have at least three to four online lessons per week. Let me tell you, this is a lot of pressure. Searching for the right formula for language learning leads to feeling guilty about where you are in the present moment. Feeling guilty you're not doing it right. Guilty you're not doing enough. I say it's about time we quit the guilt trip and embrace our mistakes. Just keep doing your best and learn to be proud of your accomplishments along the way. Please understand that learning a foreign language is a gradual process. You don't learn all the words overnight and you can't become fluent in a few months. It is impossible. So don't beat yourself up if you're not making rapid progress, okay? The third hack you need to work on is work on your weak spots. If you're like most English learners, you probably focus on studying the areas where you feel confident. However, if you want to improve your language skills as quickly as possible, it's important to work on your weak spots too. Now start by identifying the areas where you need the most help and then focus on improving those skills. You can use a variety of resources online to help you along the way, including online practice exercises, YouTube videos, working with online tutors or teachers, and so on and so on. For example, if you struggle with accent reduction, let's say, do more exercises that will improve your accent reduction. Listening to the radio and watching TV can help you learn how Americans talk. There are audiobooks available that portray American accents very nicely as well, so you can find a subject you love and start your practice. This can be frustrating and challenging, but it's worth it in the end. The fourth hack for today is focus on listening. You can improve your speaking skills, but if you don't work on improving the art of listening as well, then those efforts will most probably be all for nothing. Listening is a vital skill for language learning. 
And if you ask me, you should be spending half of your language learning time on listening exercises. If you develop good listening skills, the other language skills will naturally come, especially if speaking and sounding more natural is your goal. Not to mention, listening can be so fun. One great technique that I personally love is listening to TED Talks. What I love about TED Talks is each video has a transcript you can follow and read along while listening to the video. This is a great way to improve your listening and comprehension skills. So find yourself a nice subject you're interested in, grab yourself a cup of coffee, and start listening. The fifth hack is learn survival phrases. I know English, I'm very familiar with the grammar, I know all, I know all pronunciation rules. However, whenever I'm trying to speak English, my brain just shuts off and the fear and awkwardness takes over. Sounds relatable? I know. I've been there too. Now, if the fear of speaking English is blocking you, or if you simply need some phrases to start a conversation or ask for something in English, try learning some English phrases that will enable you to keep a conversation going no matter what. Learning survival phrases will empower you to speak, to learn, and to improve your fluency. You'll force yourself to develop confidence and people will feel more comfortable speaking to you. Here are some survival phrases examples. Can you repeat that? Excuse me, where's the bathroom? Would you like to hang out with me? The sixth hack you need to know is practice tongue twisters. If your biggest struggle is pronunciation, then you should definitely incorporate tongue twisters in your spoken English practice. In fact, one of the best ways to strengthen your English skills is by doing tongue twisters. You'll notice an improvement in pronunciation as well as the muscles you use when talking. Who would have thought we need to exercise our mouth too, huh? Start with easier examples in the beginning and continue to challenge yourself with more complex ones. Here's an easy example. Now listen, Batty Botter bought a bit of butter. Say it three times. Batty Botter bought a bit of butter. Batty Botter bought a bit of butter. Batty Botter bought a bit of butter. Okay, I did it. You need to say this three times and you need to do it fast. You'll have so much fun with tongue twisters, I promise you. The seventh hat you need to focus on is speak to yourself in English. Now this is my ultimate favorite method that I still use today. If you've never tried this, it may seem like a crazy thing to do and you will most probably feel awkward at first, but I will give you some great tips to get you started. One common way to get you started is answering questions about yourself. Let's say, what's your name? How old are you? What do you do? Where do you live? What do you do for fun? You can write down some other questions you would like to talk about and answer them in your practice. You could also imagine you're in an interview and the interviewer asks you, let's say, tell me something about yourself or where do you see yourself in five years from now, for example, and try to answer those questions. Trust me, this method is a game changer. Once you master it and start having fun with it, you'll go about your day and speak to yourself all the time. The eighth hack you need to know is learn intonation. Now, in order to improve your intonation when speaking English, it is very important to first understand what intonation is. Now, intonation refers to the rise and fall of your voice as you speak. It can affect the meaning of what you're saying and how people respond to you. You notice how I change the intonation as I speak? I stress the important words with a higher pitch and I lower my voice when I'm approaching the end of a sentence. So the first step would be noticing, becoming aware of it. Start by recording yourself first. Let's say read a paragraph that contains both questions and answers. Listen to how your voice sounds. Is it flat? Does it rise and fall for different sounds? Do you sound more natural or more like a robot? 
The best way to improve your intonation is to shadow read with a video. I personally used to watch TV shows with English subtitles on and I would shadow read whatever the actors were saying and then I would pause on a phrase and then repeat it out loud. I would recommend the show friends for this practice as there are tons of great intonation examples that will massively improve your speaking. And the last hack you need to know is memorize conversation starters. Now, let me tell you, as an introvert, I've struggled with starting a conversation and doing small talk in English for a long time. Once I learned some conversation starter phrases, not only did I improve my self-confidence, but I actually started using the language a lot more. Where should you find these phrases, you may ask? Just type conversation starters in English on Google and you'll find phrases for every occasion. Here are some of my favorite ones that I personally used. Do you like movies? Have you watched any good ones recently? Are you having a good time? Have you been to an event like this before? How many countries have you been to? There are many ways to improve your English fluency, but these nine hacks will get you the best results in a shorter time frame. If you've been struggling with improving your skills and you feel like there isn't much else left for you to try, take advantage of these tips. The more hours per day that you spend on practicing or learning English, the better off your long-term results will be. So what have you done so far? What hack did work well for you? Let me know in the comments below. And if you've made it this far of the video and you still haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button and give me a big thumbs up to support me. Have a wonderful day ahead, stay zen, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.